Hi everybody. Womp, 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 womp. Okay. So today is Saturday and normally I am, guess what? Vending my skin hair and cosmetics, right? My beauty in a bottle and show face. You know, normally I'm doing the vending. I'm in the vending mood right now, right? But here's the thing. This morning, it was so windy that I could not, I got there, okay? I actually got there in the morning like I normally do. And I could barely set up my table. I was blowing all over the place, right? Okay, so I'm not a quitter, but I had to actually quit because the wind was so bad that if I would have set up my stuff, it would have just blew all over the place. But I knew tomorrow would be another day. But I missed out on coin today, but what, what's a girl to do? Have her stuff blow all over the place or, or what? Okay, so today is vending tips and tricks to stay or to go. Mm. Now, I'm going to give the newbies, the new vendors, some vending tips since um, today was a full womp, 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 womp with my vending. Okay, so there's three types of people, newbies, that you will encounter on setting up your products or whatever you are setting up to sell. Here we go. You have the racist people. You have the overly religious people. And you have the damn near ah, crazy people. And I'm, trust me, I'm a seasoned vendor and I have encountered all three. Damn near every time you set up, you will encounter one of the three, right? Okay, don't let it scare you. Let's get to it. Okay, so today, just like this. Oh, last week. Let me take you back to last week. I set up my stand and, um, oh, there was a lady beside me. She was literally crazy, absolutely crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean literally crazy. She was nuts, all right? She was jealous of my products. She was just ranting and raving. She was just a lunatic, okay? I should have moved, but I didn't know she was like that until I was all set up and everything, and you'll even encounter this. So, you know, I try, I ignored her and everything, but I learned if I see, you see her, don't never go near her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyhow, then today I sat up this morning and I only got my tables up because it was that windy, very windy, very cold. Um, you couldn't do nothing with it. The wind was so bad that my leaflets like a handout, they would have been all over the place and that's merchandise. And this is product that I need to hand out to potential customers. So if that's blown all over the place, I lost money with just, you know, those printouts. So, you know, you gotta pick your battles when it comes to the weather, everybody. I mean, I've had heat stroke already from it being too hot. Oh yes, to where I almost fell out at my stand. And I experienced it where it's too cold. Okay, so you always got to pick your battles, but when you are a new vendor, you will encounter things that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to ever set up my stand again if I encounter those three type of people. But here's the thing, coming from a seasoned vendor, I will tell you how to handle each and every one of these people and you will not believe with how. Okay, so today when I sat up, womp, womp, womp. I was beside, there was no one set up yet to my right, but their stuff was covered up. And there was a man to my left, but guess what? His friends were racist and they were talking about gay people. They were talking about us black people and they were talking about homosexuality and being mean about gays, uh, Jewish people, whatever. They were just being brutally racist. And me, I am just setting up my table, ignoring them because that's exactly what you do, um, new vendors. You just ignore them because it could be tactics to where I was in a good spot because I always set up along that same spot so I knew where the good spots are. So for one, it could be tactics to make you move from that good spot. So 
when it starts happening like that, don't move. Just stand your ground. Don't even say nothing to them. You don't know them. They don't know you. I've seen these people before vending, you know, and, and you know, everybody minds their own business. But the, his friends were the ones who were being very racist. Now, you could go in. I could have went in and told the owner and he would have get, actually removed them from the property. Because vendors are vendors. You know, we come in all shapes and sizes, all colors, all races, all, all religions, everything. And money is money to the owner, right? Okay, no discrimination there. All right, so in that situation, new vendors, just like I said, you set up your stand, you be kind, and you don't, like, just worry about you. So I knew what they were doing. So I'm like, oh, yeah, the wind is really blowing. I've really got to uh, unpack and stuff. And I was like, well, you fellas, you have a blessed day. Oh, guess what? Oh, well, you too. You have a nice day too. You see what I mean, everybody? Never let people steal your joy. Always distract them with sugar. When they're going to come at you racist, really overly religious, and absolute goddamn crazy, just sugarcoat it. Sure, just pour sugar on it. It'll be all right. I'm telling you. I'm serious. So anyhow, as I'm packing up to go, and I pulled out, I'm like, you fellas have a blessed day. And they said, oh, you too. We're setting up next week. I mean, I mean, we're setting up tomorrow. But this is what you will encounter. And normally, it's scare tactics that they use just to get you to move out of your spot. So maybe the friend can have a bigger spot, what have you. You just don't know. You have no idea. You, you don't know until, like, you know, because this guy usually spreads out. Okay, so now the overly religious people, yes, they're kind and everything, but they'll want to hand you the pamphlets. They'll want to, um, you know, pour their religion on you. Okay, well, you know, if you're a certain religion and you just really don't want to hear it, you kindly just, you know, ignore it and, and, and keep doing what you're doing and just politely say, I'm sorry, you know, but I don't believe that or this or that. And they will normally back down and you just stay focused at your stand. They're nice people. It's just that, you know, they might... Bible beat you, right? <laughs> Seriously. Or pamphlet beat you, but they're nice people. Okay, then you got the damn near crazy people that are out of their gosh damn minds. Like this lady last week that I had to deal with the whole time I was vendoring. And it was a day where I am, it was chilly. I'm trying to get sales and I'm dealing with this crazy lady all day. Those type of people are nuts. There's something, I mean, I, I'm not, you can't make this up. So there's nothing you can say to them because they're, they're absolutely off the rocker. So you can try to reason with them and say, look, what did I do to you that you're doing this? Or Cause she was jealous of my products and coming at me. So instead of saying anything, say nothing at all and keep doing you. Just don't even, just ignore them. Whatever they're trying to be crazy about, you just keep selling and you just keep doing you. Because if you don't, you're going to get into a little argument with these people and you don't want your your um, your stand to look bad over them, to the right or to the left. You just stay focused on what your products are and what you're selling. Okay, now I've got another vendor tip, all right? But let me just promote my Beauty in a Bottle here a minute, everybody. Don't forget to check out this girl's online store at mybeautyinabottle.net. I love all of you. And this is where I make all of my natural, I sell all of my skin, hair, and cosmetics on my online store. I love it. Okay, www.mybeautyinabottle.net. All right, so let's move right along. Some vendor tips if you're new, a newbie, and you want people to come to your stand. Okay, now. Say you're like me and you sell just a certain particular item. Like I just, I sell skin, hair, and cosmetics. So you always want a table that is a variety table. A table with so many different things on it. Get some trinkets, some baseball cards, some gadgets, whatever you can find that you don't no longer want and put on this variety table. A $5 table or a three dollar table or whatever you want to call it and that could be the variety table so guess what you got them coming in 
and you've got variety stuff for everybody to pick from. So that's what lures more people to your stand because maybe there's people that don't want skin, hair, and cosmetics, but they want something else and they want to look at that variety table and that's where you make money. Always have things for $5 and up because they're more than likely to buy it. If it's jeans or a shirt or whatever it is or a gadget that you no longer want, always put a table up for like the $5 items and you will sell it. So that is my tips and tricks for today. And also, here is another vendor tip. Um, have something, a canopy or something that you can sit under when it gets hot. Because around here in Pennsylvania, we deal with all, all four seasons of weather. So when you're vending, you know, as spring is coming about, you're, it's still going to be chilly out in the mornings. It's still going to be chilly on some days. Like today was chilly. Last week was chilly. So you got to have, and, and windy. So you got to be able to dress appropriately. You've got to be on days where it's hot out. Child, you've got to have coverage to sit underneath to feel comfortable. And plus, so your products aren't melting or wilting or whatever they're doing. So that is my tips and tricks. Always have handouts. Always print handouts out of your products. You can give everybody a handout so they can remember your face. Right? Seriously. So they can remember your face and your products and what you are selling. So don't forget to enjoy vending. Never let to the right or to the left bother you. And just like I said, if you pull up to your vendor stand and you pick a spot and you just don't feel comfortable to what's on your right setting up or to your left setting up, get in your car, get back in your car and go find another spot where you'll feel comfortable setting up for the whole day. And here is another tip because to save your coin. Always, always, always try to stay until the last drop. So like where I set up my vendor's table, you can set up early, early in the morning, and then you can stay until like four o'clock. Always try to stay until the last drop so you can get your bang for your buck. You will always get sales even at the last drop. I do. And so always try to stay as long as you can to get that coin. If you can, try to hang in there. Don't let anyone steal your joy. And, and the only thing that can steal your joy is the weather. Because just like I said, it's very still very windy outside. I just looked. It is very windy out today. And that didn't steal my joy. I just could not set up because all of my things would be blowing all around. Now, if you're here and you're selling furniture or flowers or whatever... They're in heavy soil and stuff, so they're, you know, wind, whatever. Okay, you can do that. I can't. I have products. The jars are going to be, I, I've had my stuff fly all over the place. It's not a pleasant experience. You're, you're running around. They're over in other vendor stuff, blown everywhere. You don't want that. So on windy days, you have got to call the truth, and you have got to wait until the next day. So guess what? This girl is going to stay focused all day literally all day because tomorrow is going to be an absolute phenomenal vendor day it's going to be warm it's going to be great and guess what this girl is going to hit it like this i have new products to set up i have my dogs um um my sis i came up with products for her i am excited for tomorrow to set up and guess what nothing is going to steal my joy and God knows that he has got my back. So I love you. God's got your back too. Have a blessed day. And I will see you vendoring. Yes, I will see you at the next vendor event. Right? Seriously. And many peace, love, and blessings. And I wish you prosperous money on vendoring. And this is My Beauty in a Bottle and Shea Face Skin Hair Cosmetics. www.mybeautyinabottle.net <laughs> See you then.